My name is Sabrina Ward and I am a Business Link Advisor. I specialise in creative industries and also skills. If you want to look at improving the business performance of your creative company, there are five main points that you need to look at. The first one would be training, then looking at your growth steps, looking into new markets, business knowledge, and then the final one is bookkeeping. The day that are a creative photography business based in Cornwall, who are a great example of a company that have used the following business link advice. Training for creative skills uh, can be found in a number of places. The first one really would be the skills service that we provide here at Business Link. We can also look at funding. Now funding is not available for everybody, but there is money out there that can be used to help with training. It's always worth finding out before you go rushing into a course whether or not there's any help available. There are plenty of creative organisations out there as well, very specific to the sector, that can help you to look at training as well. Local colleges and universities may not always be the first port of call for you, but there are specialist colleges um, out there that can help. If you want to grow your business, there are a number of steps that you need to look at. The first thing that you need to do is to assess your current situation, look at what the market is like out there and also the strengths and weaknesses of your own business. Another step is looking at winning and keeping your customers. You need to find out who your customers are now, who your new customers could be and how you're going to make them happy. Planning is extremely important. Writing a business plan is literally just a map. You need to look at where you are now and look at where you want to go and then fill in the bit in the middle that tells you how you're going to get there. One of the most important steps is to keep your costs under control. You need to make sure that you've got enough money coming into the business to cover the costs going out. It's always worth remembering to keep your eyes open for new opportunities and remember that there's plenty of advice and support out there from a number of places, including Business Link. In order to find new markets, you need to look at what your competition is doing. Find out what it is that they offer and how that compares to what you're doing. You also need to take time to research and find out what it is your customers want, what the trends are at the moment, and making sure that what you're doing is in line with that. You need to look for new opportunities and also set targets for your business. If you're able to, use the internet. The internet is an invaluable resource. There are many different places that you can find new customers, including social networking sites. I think the final thing to think about with new markets is networking. I personally think that's one of the most important things as a business that you can do. In order to add management and business knowledge to your creative side, you need to do a number of things. It's worth getting a proper review of the gaps and setting priorities about what's critical to your business. This can lead to business link workshops, telephone clinics, advice sessions. There are so many different ways of learning. It's also worth remembering to look online for information, particularly current information, and of course to talk to other businesses. Many small businesses can have issues with bookkeeping and the first thing that you need to do is to decide whether it's going to be something you're going to do yourself or something that you're going to get someone else to do for you. If you're going to do it yourself, you may want to look at getting a short course or qualification in bookkeeping. The final point is that there are many online resources that can provide you with fact sheets, help and information.